Sheep are hardy animals that are known to have thick and warm fleeces. However, they often fall prey to predators like wolves. So, when a sheep disappeared from a farm, people suspected the worst. However, when it returned, it had something truly shocking hidden in its wool. James was a very loving farmer who always loved to spend time on the land with his beloved animals. He kept all sorts of animals, from cows to horses to pigs to chickens, but his most favorite animal had to be the sheep. They were mischievous and funny and would often do things that made James laugh out loud as he worked. He enjoyed shearing them in the summer, removing their thick wool coats with his clippers and feeding them in the evening. They would bound up to him, bleating and baaing, pleased to see their friendly owner. His most favorite thing about the sheep, though, was how adorable their babies were. Lambing season was always a delight and James loved to help the mother sheep give birth to their lambs. He could watch the little animals run and scamper in their field all day long. If he wasn't so busy with the other animals, James was truly living his dream life. That's not to say that sheep were always the most well-behaved. They would often fight each other and become very moody indeed. On several occasions, sheep had broken out of their field and gone wandering off into the vast countryside beyond James's farm. They really could be a nightmare from time to time. Still, James never held that against them and continued to enjoy his time looking after them while working on his farm. There was one sheep that he was particularly fond of though, Dolly. She was a very large sheep that would often spend time just watching over the rest of the flock. Dolly was something of a matriarch in the sheep group and would set a good example to the other sheep and show the lambs how to behave while on the farm. But that didn't mean she was exempt from being a naughty little sheep every now and then. She often caused a lot of fuss and even orchestrated a mass breakout once by barging down a fence. Still, James couldn't resist Dolly and her unique black patch around her eye. It made her look like a pirate sheep wearing an eye patch. One day, as James made his morning rounds on the farm, feeding the animals, starting up machinery, and making important business phone calls, he noticed something strange. There seemed to be several sheep missing. He counted three times just to be sure, and he got the same number each time. Four of his sheep were missing. Running around the perimeter of the sheep's field, he noticed that a fence post at the very corner of the field was lying on the floor, leaving a small gap just big enough for a sheep to get through. This must have been where they made their escape. Luckily, three of the sheep weren't very far away, just grazing on the grass just beyond the border of the field. James quickly rounded them up and got them back into the field, repairing the fence as he did so. But there was still one sheep missing, Dolly. James let out a sigh as he made this realization. If this headstrong sheep had run away into the wild countryside, then there would be no chance it would be found. Sadly, there were wolves out there that would make short work of a stray sheep, tearing them apart and eating them for lunch. So after several hours of fruitless searching, it was with a heavy heart that James gave up and returned to the farm. It seemed as if Dolly would be lost. For the next few weeks, James found that he missed Dolly greatly. As his favorite sheep, he loved to give the animal some extra attention and watch over her as she ate and played with the other younger sheep. He never realized how attached he had become to Dolly until she had gone. He wondered where she was and if she was even alive, but the sad truth is that no matter how big and strong Dolly might have been, she would still most likely have met a gruesome end. It was a great pity and James mourned the loss. Several months passed and James had started to move on and gotten his farm back on track. The animals were all happy and healthy, and business was booming. He had even looked into purchasing more land in order to expand the farm and rear more animals. It certainly was an exciting time for James, and he felt he had everything under control and in order. His hard work was paying off, and he could foresee nothing unexpected knocking him off the happy and prosperous cloud he was on. That is, until something completely extraordinary happened to him, something that no one could ever have predicted. What was about to derail James's happy streak? Keep watching to find out the shocking answer. As he fed the horses, he noticed something just beyond the field's fence. It was a sheep, a huge, wild-looking sheep. At first, he thought one of his sheep had escaped, but as he walked closer, he realized they hadn't. This wild sheep had a massively thick fleece, and it looked dirty and unkempt, as if it had lived in the wilderness all of its life. 
but as James got closer, his eyes went wide. The sheep itself didn't look recognizable at all, but he would recognize the black mark around its eye anywhere. It was Dolly. He shook his head and rubbed his eyes, scarcely able to believe them. He led the sheep to a nearby gate and it trotted in as if it had never been away. This was Dolly, for certain. But there was one big issue, a big fluffy issue. Dolly's fleece had grown to huge proportions and the sheep now resembled a cloud. It had a truly thick layer of wool covering its body. Looking at it, James estimated that the depth of the wool would be several inches at least, maybe closer to a foot. He would have to trim it first thing tomorrow. Poor Dolly must have been feeling exhausted and completely worn out from carrying around such a weight for who knows how long. James's heart was swelling with love and he realized his eyes had tears in them. He was so happy. But what he didn't realize was that things were about to take a very strange and unusual twist indeed, something that no one could have ever predicted. As James started to lead it back to the rest of the flock, he heard Dolly make a strange noise, a kind of cooing and whining. It wasn't a noise that he'd ever heard a sheep make before, and he'd looked after a lot of sheep. Frowning, James looked at Dolly and noticed that the noise wasn't coming from the sheep itself, but rather its mass of wool. Reaching into the matted and dirty wool, he jumped out of his skin when he felt something unusual in there. Parting the wool, James peered in and he let out a yell of surprise and terror at what he saw. It was a baby human boy. Reaching in, James lifted the boy up with shaking hands, only to discover him holding onto something, another hand. This time, it was a baby girl. As he scooped the girl up too, he noticed a third baby in there as well. James was trembling at the discovery. Why were they hidden in Dolly's wool? Who had put them there? Where did they belong? What did he do next? Thinking fast, James contacted the local police station and explained the whole story. He told them he would take the babies to the hospital to be checked over before handing them to the authorities. The doctors discovered that they were severely malnourished and needed plenty of medical care and attention. On the positive side though, they would live. But one thing was for certain, without the warmth of Dolly's wool, the three babies would almost certainly have died. It may have been the only thing keeping them alive. We may never know how the babies got in there in the first place, but what we do know is that Dolly's unusual adventure had saved their lives. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible and almost unbelievable story? How would you have reacted if you'd have found your lost sheep with three babies hidden away inside its big fluffy fleece? How do you think they got there in the first place? As always, we love to hear from you. So be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.